So you want to learn the butterfly kip. Well, here you go. Just watch first in real time as I demonstrate here. It's a very fluid motion and different from the regular kip. All right, now that you saw that, we're going to break it down. So when I start, it's all about that lower leg kick to initiate that momentum. So if you look at my lower body, look at that lower leg, 90 degree bend right at the knee. Then what happens after that, I'm going to get this lower leg kick to initiate that momentum. Kicking down, boom. What happens, that helps float me up. And once again, look at my feet, kicking down. Okay. Now, from there, you got to watch my body positioning. Slanted going down through there. Okay. As I drop down, you'll see my lower leg come back, get ready for that kick again. What this does, this is going to help build that momentum. So you'll see my upper body, mainly my shoulder area, start going in this circular type motion. Up through there, coming down. Okay, And that's what generates the speed of this butterfly kip circular motion with that upper body and with that lower body you have to have that once again that lower leg kick boom right there right now my body's floating upward you'll almost feel a certain weightlessness I'm gonna rise up against oh, above uh, that bar right there and then coming down at an angle this way so look at here's vertical here's my body coming down here and it's going to maintain, once again, like I said, this circular type motion, which keeps it going. Now, again, to do that, we have to start off initially with that, that lower leg kick. Okay? So whenever you jump up on the bar, first thing that you have to do, bring those feet back, kick through. Kick, you're going to pull up over the bar and generate this circular motion right through there lower leg kick boosting up over the bar and I'm falling as I fall down you'll see once my arms are totally straightened out right through here straight line through the body at that bottom point I initiate that kick to boost that momentum right back up and again, by doing that, that's going to get my body floating. As you can see right here, I'm, pre I'm pretty much floating right here. I'm floating and then coming down, timing it just right. Once, those sh once that shoulder opens, lower leg kick comes in, boom, flips back again. Come down, kick hard, again, kick hard, and that upper body circular type motion just look at my shoulders the way it's moving should we even go backwards right here right through there that circular type motion okay so my chin never goes directly over the bar as in the regular kip it's going to be shy of that maintaining this circular pattern right here okay so once again look at it in slow motion right through here lower leg kick boom pull yourself up drop them down it's all about the timing right at the very bottom of the motion lower leg kick good deal so go ahead and try that out let me know how you do.